line we saw them against Leeds here. Yeah. Wolves have done well, haven't they? Wolves have set the stall out pretty good, Richard. They, they defend well, we know that. And what they do is they're very difficult to play against. Uh, we've seen that in all the times they've been back in the Premier League. And Nuno has them really well organised. But what they have, apart from that, is when they're in transition, they've got terrific pace at the top end of the pitch. A couple of times they threatened late on there. Might have done better. Pedro Neto, Neto, particularly twice, might have found a better end product than he did. So there's always that threat for, against United. United have been OK. They've worked their way. I thought it was a pretty slow start from them. They've worked their way back into the game. It's been pretty even, I think, the last 20 minutes of this match. But much more difficult prospect than Leeds. That's, that's for certain. A sniff of a chance each? Yes. You describe I mean, Roman Saiz Sa Sa has been up there a couple of times when they've had set plays. And, you know, they did, with Moutinho and Neves, the quality of football that they've got on the side. I mean, that one there, I think it's a really good save. I think he's also lucky it's right at him. Because the flick, well, his movement was great. Across the front there, across the front of Marcus Rashford. And he's unlucky, that could end up the top corner from Saiz, but it goes right at the goalkeeper and he just shoot. He's got that unique way of doing that with his fists. Yes. And I think what I keep thinking one of these days again is going to skim off it's the top happened of them. once and he got slaughtered, he did. right, didn't he? Do you remember? Yeah, yeah I do. Um, but two tonight that he has got right. He's got at right. At the other end, a save or fortune from the keeper? Uh, a little bit of both here, save and miss. I think the goalkeeper's in the right position, uh, but Bruno Fernandes can't quite get enough purchase on it. When he gets in front of the defender, I think then he's just trying, he can't get a swing at it because the defender's right behind him. And what he does is he just lays a foot on it, as I would say. He just lays his foot on it, and he's right because he's that close. He thinks, if I miss the goalkeeper, I score. And, I, and that's the right thing. He hits it straight at him, and Rui Patricio, again, the two saves were fortunate. They were both at the goalkeepers, made the save easier. OK, so there has been football played already tonight. Leeds, 5-0 winners at West Brom. <laughs> Saints and West Ham, that finished goalless. And Burnley won this evening. Brighton and Arsenal, another win for the Gunners on the road at Brighton. And this, our fifth of five so far. Run past the man with the ball. That has been the main message from Ole Gunnar Solskjaer and his coaching staff in this first half. Too often the likes of Marcus Rashford have been static ball watching really whilst full backs and midfield players have had the ball in attacking areas. They've been looking at it rather than running past it and they've been slightly frustrated Manchester United. They haven't really carved out too many opportunities. Wolves on the other hand I think are playing the game perfectly trying to sit back and hit Manchester United on the counter attack. We saw a couple of chances there in the, the dying moment of that first half but it's clear that Neto and Traore in terms of their pace on the counter will cause United issues just look out as well for a couple of ongoing injury concerns that we were keeping an eye on during that first half Connor Cody seems to have a problem with his left calf got a bit of a kick in that chance for Bruno Fernandes and Fernandes himself actually who you can see is desperate to do well in a game against many of his international teammates just appears to be limping a little bit I don't think he'll be coming off but I think from United's point of view they'll hope for better from him and the rest of the team in that second 40 Thank you, Matt. Being sports, Matt Critchley, pitch side at Old Trafford tonight with his thoughts. Uh, tomorrow, Spurs are at home against Fulham. There is a danger at the moment that that game may not get played because of a COVID outbreak at Fulham. No more news beyond that yet. And Newcastle are at home against Liverpool. 2030 Mecca, the first one due to start. Second one, 2300 Mecca.